oral communication. Deal with practical everyday communication demands within familiar context, effectively and without under effort, for example, meeting people, extending and setting invitation, exchanging information, giving reasons, asking and answering questions about routines and preferences, and so forth. Okay, this is the activity from June 16 to June 19, 20 and 20. Okay, luego ustedes esto ya copian o lo pegan si tienen cómo imprimir. Esta, estas son las habilidades que vamos a desarrollar esta semana. Let's continue with this activity. This is focus practice exercise one. Discover the grammar. First, you circle the verb in the past. Then, write the verb and the main form of each verb in the chart. There are two examples here. Okay, there are two examples here. The examples are was, the base form is B, brought, the base form is bring, and then you are going to find other verbs and you write in this chart, in this table. Okay, and please uh, help me to read, help me to read Jose Erazo. Tell me to read, please, all the, all the paragraph, read. You speak uh, very low, and you uh, start uh, the reading, please. Jose Eras. Okay, miss. I have two brothers. My older brother was a great student. He broke home three steps and one hour. My younger brother, Fell bored by school. He never did well. My parents worried about him in his second year of high school. He had a great chemistry teacher. He became interested in chemistry. He began to study hard. He is now a chemistry professor at university. So you never know what will happen. Okay, uh, thank you. In the in the first sentence, we circle uh, was okay, and the second sentence a uh, circle broad. And let's continue with the other, with the other uh, sentences. Uh, you look at he brought home prices and won a war. Aquí hay otro verbo. ¿Qué verbo será in this sentence? Fell. Si dice won, aquí, miren, aquí hay otro verbo in past tense, won. This verb. Okay. Primero los vamos a cerrar en un circle. And then uh, write in the chart. Okay. The other, the other verb. My younger brother felt bored by a school. And what is the verb in this, in this sentence? Alguien que me ayude, ¿cuál es el verbo en esta oración in past tense? My young felt, okay, felt. This is the other verb. Recuerden que ustedes están eh, trabajando in your notebook, en su cuaderno. He never did well. He never did well. Where is the verb in past tense, Abel Ramírez? Did. Okay, thank you. Did, yes. Um, the next, uh, Alison Villasis, my parents 
worried about him. Alison. Dígame, miss. Okay, in this in this part of the paragraph, my parents worried about him. There is or is there a verb? Yes or no? Este means worried. Okay, thank you. And then in this second year of high school, he had a great chemistry teacher. Saiz Chasi. What is the verb in this sentence? Vegan. Uh, no, then in his second year of high school, he had a great chemistry teacher. ¿Cuál es el verbo in past tense en esta oración que acabo de leer? Mm, were. No, is had. Mira, eh, Thais, is had. Ok, the past tense is had. Me no me acuerdo. Ya, igual tenían que revisar el, el cuadro de los irregular verbs que ya vimos la semana anterior, ok. Igual aquí estamos para ir recordando. Ok. señalar porque no sé dónde se me fue el lapicito. Ok, ajá. This is the verb. Ok, uh, the, other, the other sentence. He became interested in chemistry. He became. What is the verb in this, in this sentence, uh, Valentina Vega? Valentina, hello. I can't hear you. Yeah, please tell me the, the verb in past tense. No te puedo escuchar. Ahí. Sí, sí. Bicón. Mm, became, became. Está en in past tense. Thank you, became. And the other, he began to study hard. He began to study hard. Uh, please uh, help me with the verb, uh, Romina Villa. Cool. He began to study hard. ¿Cuál es el verbo que está en pasado? Estoy. No. You look at uh, the verb in past tense. Miss mm Vega. -hmm. Began, okay? Yes, began. And the other, he's now a chemistry professor at a university. So you never know what will happen. You never know. Aquí, eh, aquí en esta oración que acabo de leer, ¿hay o no hay un verbo eh, in past tense o está in base form? Ok. Aquí hay un verbo. No, you never know. This is verb. No. Yes, no, this is the verb. And right here, no. 
Okay, now let's complete the chart of the past tense of this verb. I write here in past eh, one, es el pasado, one. ¿Y cuál será eh, in base form? What is the base form of one? El que sabe, enciende el micrófono y dice la respuesta. Where? Where is the base form? Repeat, please. Where, Miss? Wing. Okay, wing. This is the base for wing. Uh -huh. We, the base for and the past tense is one. The next, I write here, felt. Uh, where is the base for of felt? Feel. Feel, yes, feel. Turn up the microphone, okay. The past tense is did, and what is the way for of this verb? Do, 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 yes, excellent, do, 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 yes, thank you. I write here, uh, worried. Worried. Okay, worried. Uh, where is the base part of this verb? Okay, where is the base part? Just a uh, worry, okay? Uh. Solamente worry. In this, in the past time is worried, okay? Worried. The next verb is hot. Okay, uh, where is the base word of this verb? Half. 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 Okay, half. Yes. And let's continue. Where is the base word of the verb? Became. Become me. Welcome. Become. Become. Yes. Become. Become. Thank you. Become. Eh, Ricardo Loza, hello. Hola, mi. Ya, eh, ¿cuál es el, la forma base del verbo eh, vegan? What is the base for? Begin. Begin. Thank you, Ricardo. Are you here? Are you pay attention? That I say you, okay? Y aquí, en este caso, yo también señalé no, pero al parecer ya no hay otra column. Pero eh, el no está en base form, tal vez por eso no lo han considerado aquí. Pero yo lo voy a poner no, ok, mire, está en base form, pero no está el pasado. And what is the past of no? Mi new, mi, pero con la E. Yes. No me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Very good, a new, ok, a new. This is the past tense of no, new. Ok, you look at. The table in the past form. This is all the table that you complete in your notebook or in your folder. Esta es toda la tabla que deben de tener completa en su cuaderno o en su folder. Claro que puede ser que ustedes solo copien el, la tabla y luego ya hagan la, la actividad de acá que es de cerrar Miss. los verbos. Yes. Sí, yo tengo las hojas impresas, lo resuelvo y las pego en el cuaderno. Yes. Ya yes. Okay. Y el último lo anotamos más abajito, ¿verdad? 
Exacto, exactly, yes. Gracias, Miss. Ya, los que tienen así esa oportunidad mucho mejor y los que no... Yo también tengo así. Los que no van con su reglita, hacen el cuadro y copian y listo. Son actividades igual pequeñas que estamos realizando aquí, chicos. Ok, eh, I erase, voy a borrar, copien rápido, you copy quickly, please. You have a two minutes to copy, los que no han copiado, dos minutos. Y eh, seguimos, ok. Por cierto, en esta, en esta diapositiva de esta semana, yo les envié al final, no sé si se dieron cuenta de una canción, eh, que ahí está la letra y también está el link. Entonces, los que tengan cómo imprimir la letra para el día que nos toque, de the next class, but the last class for this week, is on for you to, okay, on Tuesday, okay, on Tuesday, this is the last class uh, for you, the 10th A, and uh, you, please, you print this uh, lyric about the, the song, or you take a capture, or you copy the, the lyrics, because uh, this day, we are going to sing and you listen the, the song and then you sing uh, the, the lyric, okay? The song, the, the topic is uh, don't start now. Okay, some students, I think that you listen this, this song. On Thursday, you remember on Thursday you print this lyric. Para el día jueves, ahí ya tienen que tener impresa esa letra. Y luego eh, para poder cantarla ese último día de esta semana. Ok. Let's continue. I erase the, the answer. Ok. I erase, erase. That I clean the answer. Because let's continue with other exercise. Puede ser que esto les toque eh, casi algo parecido en una, en una prueba. O puede ser que les toque eh, en un examen, quién sabe. Por eso estamos practicando estas actividades aquí. Ok, eh, let's continue with the other slide and you look at, please, the other activities. Ok, este cuadro de aquí ya lo hemos visto, pero igual eh, lo puse para recordarlo. This is the past time word. Eh, do you remember the, uh, the past time word ago, last, and yesterday? You use uh, these words in past tense. I saw, uh, for example, I saw my friend. Un ratito, chicos. Okay, and let's continue. Everybody, you look at ago. I saw my friend 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, two days ago, a week ago, a few months ago, and a year ago. And that means ego hace. ¿Qué significa ego hace tantos minutos, hace tantas horas? I use here eh, two hours ago, for example. Aquí puedo cambiar con más días. Si, no puedo decir solamente dos días. Hace dos días, sino que puedo decir eh, three days ago. Okay. Acá también puedo decir a few, a few years ago o a few weeks ago. Okay. Que significa hace. Last, last night, last week, last weekend last month, 
last November. And in this, in this example, you look at, etc. So for, porque aquí puedes usar otros meses del año. Last year, last Monday, okay, you look at in this part, etc. or so on. Last spring, last summer, last eh, fall, and last winter. ¿Qué significa last? Ok. La última, ok. La semana pasada, pasada. La semana pasada, del mes pasado, ajá. El año pasado. In yesterday, yesterday, el día de ayer, ajá. Yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, and yesterday evening. Estas time expression or past time word. Do you remember it very well? Deben de recordarla muy bien. Ok. And let's continue. ¿Tienen hasta ahí alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No? Ok. Let's continue with the other, eh, with the other activity. Si nos, de, si nos desconectamos, nos volvemos a conectar porque tengo que tomar la lista. Okay, exercise number two, simple, fast, irregular verb. Complete the paragraph with the words in parentheses. Use the simple fast. Number one, A was nine when his mother died in 18, 18. His family, in, in parentheses is the verb have very little monkey money, excuse me, and live in a log cabin with one room. And what is the past tense of have? Okay, students, the, the past tense of a hat is hat. You write here a hat. Okay, hat. Me va a ayudar eh, con la lectura. Siga con la lectura y cambia el verbo. Eh, please. Gabriel Alvarado. Yeah, I mean. Okay, Gabriel. Uh, let's continue to complete the sentence number three. This sentence. Go. Toda la oración lea. ¿Cómo quedará? Still. Hey, go is the school. He ground, strong up, very tardy. ¿Dónde está leyendo? Aquí, still. ¿Qué sigue? Yo le estoy señalando aquí, mire, aquí estamos. Still. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? The past tense of go. When. 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 Ok, when. No sé qué pasó, Alvarado. Creo que está distraído. When. Ok. Uh, she went to a school. Uh, let's continue. Uh, you, Carlos Vergara. Hello, Carlos. Dígame a mí. Ok. Let's continue you with the other sentence. This sentence. He, number four. He, Greg. Strong, strong, and um, very chill. He grow or he grew? Grew. Okay. He grew um, a strong and very tall. The past tense of, of grow is grew. Okay. Let, uh, let's continue. 
Este de aquí lo voy a hacer yo, tal vez este verbo no estaba en su lista, pero dice, eh, he is split wood for money. Ok, number five, a split is the same writing, but when you pronounce this verb, eh, you change. In the very form is a split, in the past tense is a split, ok? Como que está sacando la T bien pronunciada. Split. Ajá. Y split. Good for money. Then, he, number six, uh, please help me with this sentence, Nicole Monserrate. Nicole. Ok, uh, you please. Uh, you the sentence number six. No, but this verb is irregular verb. Irregular. What is the past tense of teach, Nicole? No está el verbo en la lista que yo les di. No, 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 no está. Ya, entonces yo les voy a poner aquí, miren, igual ustedes anoten, estamos aprendiendo otros verbos. Entonces. Miren, creo que es teaching, 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 algo así. No, si no me es, no. So, ok, so, this is the past tense, so, teach, so. Himself, below, and number seven. Este sí está en la lista que yo les di. Where is the past este tense? Eh, Talia García. Where is the past tense of begin? You complete all the sentence, please. Talia. Vega. Vega. Okay. Uh, himself, below, and Vega, allow fear. Number eight, for a short time, please uh, complete you, uh, Axel Pilai. Dígame. Okay, uh, you complete the sentence number eight. Y this sentence. He, y es el verbo be, y dice a soldier. ¿Con qué verbo va a ir eh, si dice el verbo be y tengo el pronoun he? Axel. Chicos, se va a acabar y nos volvemos a conectar. No se olviden porque voy a tomar la lista. Nos, nos volvemos a conectar, ¿ok? Ya nos queda un minuto. 